Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Young and the Restless Friday July 12 Spoilers Chelsea's New Rules Sally Back's Summer Victor's Mission for Adam The Young and the Restless I and R Spoilers for Friday July 12 Reveal that Chelsea Lawson, Melissa Claire Egan, will feel like she needs to establish some firmer boundaries with Adam Newman, Mark Grossman. Since Chelsea doesn't want to risk anything else happening between them, she'll apparently have some new rules for Adam to follow. Of course, these rules will apply to Chelsea too. Chelsea will think it's important to prevent any more slip-ups, so she'll put some limits in place and hope it'll be enough to protect their current relationships. Adam doesn't want to lose Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, any more than Chelsea wants to lose Billy Abbott, Jason Thompson, so the exes should be on the same page, at least for now. In the meantime, Victor Newman, Eric Braden, will summon Adam and share a new mission that he'd like his son to tackle. That could tie in with Victor's Newman media agenda since he clearly wants to use the company to create negative jab at press. However, Victor may also want to use Newman Media to play up Lissade as a rising star. If Victor offers news on that goal, it could click the puzzle pieces into place for Adam and make him realize that his dad's going after Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman. Adam could use a distraction, especially now that he's cheated with Chelsea, so could he surrender to what Victor wants? Will Adam betray Jack by going along with Victor's vengeful plan? Time will tell, but this will certainly remain a tricky situation for Adam no matter what he decides to do next. Next, Sally will step up for Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, and hope she can prove her worth. Although Sally made some sneaky moves in the past, she's focused on going a great job and showing what an asset she can be to Marchetti. Things have been going well, but Sally may run into some trouble with Summer on Friday's Y&R episode. Summer has been stressed out over Kyle Abbott's, Michael Miller, bad decisions and the potential custody feud over Harrison Abbott, Redding Munsell, so she might take some of her rage out on Sally. It's easy to imagine Summer ranting Sally over a design when she's really just mad at the whole Kyle ordeal. If so, Sally may also step up on a personal level and serve as a sounding board for Summer. Our predictions hint that Sally will do her part to make sure they get along, so Summer should appreciate the effort in the end. The young and the restless spoilers say Summer has more drama ahead of her when it comes to Kyle and the custody drama that's escalating, so stick with us for updates on the mess. The sun rose over Genoa City, casting a warm glow on the opulent Newman Towers where the lives of the wealthy and powerful were perpetually entangled in a web of secrets and lies. It was Friday, July 12, and the day promised to be filled with drama and intrigue. In her penthouse, Chelsea Lawson stood by the window, gazing out at the city. She was deep in thought, contemplating the new rules she had decided to implement. Life had been chaotic lately, and she needed to regain control, especially when it came to Adam. He had a way of pushing her buttons and making her doubt herself. But no more. Chelsea was determined to set boundaries. Connor's my priority, she whispered to herself, her reflection in the glass looking resolute, and I need to make sure Adam understands that. She turned away from the window and picked up her phone, sending a message to Adam, we need to talk. Meet me at the park in an hour. Chelsea knew he wouldn't be happy, but it was time to lay down the law. Adam needed to know that she wouldn't allow him to disrupt their son's life anymore. Across town at Jabot, Sally Spectra was busy working on her latest designs, her mind racing with thoughts of Summer Newman. The two women had a complicated history, but Sally had recently come to respect Summer's tenacity and ambition. They had found common ground, and today Sally was determined to back Summer in her latest endeavor. Summer had pitched a bold new marketing campaign for Jabot, one that could potentially elevate the company to new heights but she faced resistance from some of the more conservative board members. Sally knew she had to step up and show her support. After finishing a particularly intricate sketch, Sally made her way to Summer's office. She knocked on the door and entered without waiting for a response. 
Summer looked up, surprised but pleased to see her. Sally, what's up? Summer asked, setting aside her paperwork. I wanted to talk to you about your campaign idea, Sally began, taking a seat. I think it's brilliant and I want to help you make it happen. Summer's eyes lit up with gratitude. Really? That means a lot, Sally. I've been facing a lot of pushback. Sally nodded. I know, and that's why we need to stand together. I'll use whatever influence I have to get the board on our side. This campaign could be a game-changer for Javit. Summer smiled, feeling a surge of confidence. Thank you, Sally. Together, we can make this work. Meanwhile, at Newman Enterprises, Victor Newman was deep in thought, staring at the photograph of his family on his desk. His mind was on Adam, his prodigal son. Victor knew Adam had been struggling, and despite their tumultuous relationship, he couldn't turn his back on him. He had a mission for Adam, one that could help him find his way back. Victor picked up the phone and dialed Adam's number. When Adam answered, there was a moment of silence before Victor spoke. Adam, it's your father. I need to see you in my office as soon as possible. Adam's voice was cautious. What's this about, Dad? It's important, Adam. Just come. An hour later, Adam walked into Victor's office, his expression wary. Victor gestured for him to sit down, and Adam reluctantly complied. What's going on? Adam asked, folding his arms. Victor leaned forward, his gaze intense. I have a mission for you, Adam, something that could benefit the company and help you find some direction. Adam raised an eyebrow. And what's that? There's a new venture I want you to oversee, Victor explained. It's a high-risk, high-reward project that requires someone with your particular skills and tenacity. I believe you're the right person for the job. Adam was silent for a moment, considering his father's words. He had always craved Victor's approval, and this could be an opportunity to prove himself. But he was also wary of his father's motives. What's the catch? Adam asked. Victor smiled slightly. No catch, just a chance to show what you're capable of. Are you interested? Adam nodded slowly. I'll do it. As Adam left Victor's office, he felt a mix of apprehension and determination. This mission could be the fresh start he needed, but he knew it wouldn't be easy. He had a lot to prove, both to himself and to his father. Back at the park, Chelsea was waiting for Adam. When he arrived, she could see the tension in his eyes. She took a deep breath and began to speak. Adam, we need to set some boundaries, Chelsea said firmly. Connor is my main concern, and I won't let anything disrupt his life. Adam listened, his expression unreadable. I understand, Chelsea, and I respect that. I want what's best for Connor too. Chelsea was relieved to hear his words, but she remained cautious. That means we need to communicate better and keep things civil. No more surprises, no more drama. Adam nodded. Agreed. I'll do my best, Chelsea.